Hello everybody, this is your man King Soy Boy here to talk to you about another League of Legends champion, Vigar, the tiny master of evil. Vigar is a high burst AP mage AP mid mage hero that's really fun to play, although it can be quite tricky. Vigar has an extremely high burst potential that can kill any squishies to tanks in one go. In this video I'll be talking about runes, masteries, the early game and builds you want to do and potentially late game. For runes on Vigar I like to use more of a utility setup for protection. I like movement speed quintessences, magic resist blues, mana region yellows, and magic penetration reds. Uh, magic penetration reds are pretty much a standard. I like mana region to sustain my mana in lane. The other two are more of utility so I can catch people and the magic resist is there so I can trade with the, trade with the enemies so I don't really I don't feel pr too pressured to leave lane early if I lose a trade I can deal as much damage to them as they'll probably do to me. Let's get into a game while I talk about Vigar skills. All right. This video was requested by Darth Killer, I believe that was his name. I'm not really sure because I've got the memory of a goldfish on LSD, let's be honest now. Okay. Alright, where's Vigar? Vigar! Vigar! Oh, there we go. Pew pew, pew pew. Just waiting to load in. Oh god. No, that if the tables were turned, I would show you no mercy. Alright. Let's now Vigar's skills is pretty unique to the game that not many others have what he has in a sense. Where his skills like first off, Vigar is passive. It's pretty much a chalice of harmony in a sense where Vigar gains mana back like 1%. His mana region is increased by 1% of his missing mana. For every 1% of he's for every 1% mana he's missing, his mana region goes up by 1%. No, that's not right. Whatever. I'll find the correct stats when we get into the game. Baleful Strike. It's Q skill. Baleful Strike is a single target skill. It does pretty good magic damage. Um, what makes the skill unique is every time you kill a minion with it, your ability power goes up by 1. If you kill a cannon minion or a champion, it goes up by 2. And this, the amount of AP you get scales as you level up your Q skill. For instance, at level 1, you kill a minion, you'll get 1 AP. And I believe this scales on multiple things such as... I think... The champion one scales with your the level of the skill. So if it's level two, you get two extra AP, three, three extra AP, so on. Vigar's no, 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 fuck, whatever. Um, Vigar's W, uh, the meteor, dark matter. Basically a meteor drops down from the sky and it's a pretty small AoE but it has an insane nuke. It All of Vigar's skills have extremely high scaling. It's just it's your main it's your second most main damage nuke in a sense. With a decent amount of ability power. Now when I say decent, I'm not trying to say like 600 plus AP, maybe like 400, 450. You'll be doing about 1000 damage with your meteor. Vigar's E skill is an AoE stun, which happens in a circle. The targets are stunned when they are on the edge of the circles. The ring, if they're on the inside, they can they can still move. They're not stunned as so long as they don't hit the edges. It's a pretty good sized circle, so they have some move to space. This skill is key to playing Vigar because if you go up to Harass them, and you want to you want to initiate with your stun, obviously, so they don't retaliate. They can't move. It's easier land your skills. 
but if you miss, they can fight you right there. You're in their line of sight, and you are a pre pretty squishy AP compared to the others. For instance, Diana has a shield, which makes her tanky. Then, and there are other champions like that. Diana, Oriana, Fizz's Jump, Cassidens, Cassidens, nonsense, Moriana. But, key. Um, what else I want to talk about? Root items you want to start with. Um, you're versing Zix. Normally, when you pick your item to start with, you want to pay attention to who's their AP mid and who's their jungler. Uh, normally, I would with Vigar, I like to go two fairy charms and uh, three health potions, cause so I can keep my mana region up, harass more, and all that. But they have Zin Zhao, and I don't want to be caught. I really have no escape skills other than my stun. So I want to start boots and three health potions. You always want to make sure if you use if you use smart cast, um, what pretty much means if you activate a skill, it'll automatically go off wherever your mouse is. Like skill shots will go to your cursor if it's on the map. If you use smart cast, I recommend turning it off on your stun because you do want to see the range where the stun area is and stuff like that. Also, they have a blitz crank, and I don't want to be caught. To watch for invades, um, well, actually, my team doesn't really want to watch for invade. They're scared, so we'll be invading them right now. Just moving in. I see Zinzao. I got my E skill if we were trying to go in on that, my stun, but we didn't, so I just. I got a skill early. I didn't want to. I really don't want the skill level one. There's no fighting potential other than. A stun for team fights or anything like that. So right now I've already put myself at a disadvantage. Zix has will be able to harass me. I just want to be careful of that. Also, I don't have my Q skill, which means I can't farm with it. Let's see, Vigar gains one ability power when he kills a champion from any source of damage. Okay, that one goes up with levels. All right, let's go to mid lane. He has Zix has two fairy charms and a couple potions. Always watch what your enemy has. It's if you go in on an enemy who just bought or has more items than you, you can pretty much die. Zix has his his bombs, his AOE skill. He'll try to harass me with that pretty soon. Except I have nothing to harass him back. I've not. He's level two really early because he pushed the lane. So I'll just be watching from that. Play safe. You don't really want to go extremely aggressive on Vigar. Actually, you just... I take that back. You want to be extremely aggressive on Vigar, but not not the early levels. Um, right now, all my skills I really want to use because they're really high damage, except they will cost a lot of mana to counteract my mana region passive, which is one... Mana regen increased by 1% for every 1% missing mana. So as my mana goes down, my mana regen goes up, but I don't want to use all that too early. Q your enemy as much as you can. I know I said that the you gain ability power when you use your Q skill on Vigar, except you want if you use all your your main damage skill to farm, you won't be harassing them, which means you're not dealing out any pressure. You're just trying to strengthen yourself later on. Shoot a Q, he does damage. As you saw, he used a skill to uh, farm the lane. Right now, he's still using skills to farm the lane. He's coming in. Drop stun. That's it. As you saw, my stun has that big AoE circle. Uh, when you, you want to always activate your stun with them, you always want to summon the circle with them being in the stun range. If they're not, it gets really awkward, like if Ziggs didn't waste his flash there, he could have just flashed over the walls of my... Here, I'll summon it again one more time. These outer rings right here, stun. Inside, not a stun. Outside, obviously not a stun. So, just want to be wary of that. Practice, practice, practice. At the start, you'll miss a lot, and then you'll get better with it. Right now, I am ahead of Ziggs because of that kill. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the kill with my skew skill, so I didn't get the... I missed out on like one ability power, which is really nothing because it gains over time. 
pretty low right now. Cannon minions, like I said, give you more ability power. So you just want to activate stun, walk away. I got greedy and died, so whatever. Moving on. Aha. Early game buys. You have multiple options on early game buys. For instance, the mana region item Chalice of Harmony has the same path. Its passive is equivalent to your passive. So you get twice as much, if not multiple, of mana region. It just gives you a crap ton. I like for I like Philostone personally because it gives me HP region as well. It gives me mana region to help me with my passive and stuff like that. I have seen people go the Doran's Ring route because it gives you HP, ability power, and also mana region. As you notice, every starting item has mana region for you, just so you can keep your passive going as much as possible. Right now at the Philostone, my mana region is 26 per 5 seconds. When I activate a skill, it goes 29, 28, and it slowly creeps me back to normal. Now, once you have this Philostone, another thing about Philostone, it gives you gold for 10 seconds. Uh, right, it's a 5 gold for 10 seconds. It helps you out a lot. Oh my god. Oh, kid trying to harass me while I'm talking. What a rude person. <coughs> so yeah, as you can see, my mana is coming back extremely quickly. Let my team know Ziggs is missing and he's back. Key information. Now my ulti, I did not talk about that. I wanted to save it for now. It is Primordial Burst. It's an extremely high damage nuke, level 1. Right now, it does 290 damage. Plus 80% of the target's ability power, so... Right now, since Ziggs doesn't have very much AP, it doesn't really do much damage. Ziggs also has a Chalice, which I didn't notice, which gave him Mana Region. I Not Mana Region, mana, Magic Resist. So he can tank some of my hits. I may not have killed him, but I've done, forced him back to base, which is just as good. It means he'll miss out on XP experience, he'll miss out on gold. And as long as I don't miss anything here, it'll be good for me. Primordial Burst gets stronger as the game goes on, obviously, especially against Zix, who has to build AP to do damage. He just has to do it. So the stronger he gets, the stronger my ulti gets on him, and he he will die. He will explode. In matters of seconds. For every 100 AP he has, my skill will do 80 more damage. It's just how the skill works. And right now he has 75, not 75, 46. So it really doesn't do much. It probably does about 30 extra damage to him. Hecram offering me a blue buff. What a good guy. Oh. Got it. Now my man regen skyrockets blue buff, obviously. Man region on top of your passive, 115 a second. Now, when you have blue buff now is when I recommend that you start your Q farm. It it, it bit, pretty much allows you to say, conserve your mana as you spaz, if, like spam your skills. It's like you're not wasting any mana. It lowers the cooldowns of all your skills. Take some harass. It's no big deal. My ulti's almost up. I'm just gonna try to harass him down a bit. So always initiate with your stun, drop Meteor, and he just flashed for no reason. My Meteor by itself will do, at most, right now, level 1, 160 damage. Not good. The reason he flashed though, you might be wondering, is because of Vigar's high burst potential. Which I can demonstrate pretty close. I want him to be a bit lower because I have no items to help my burst out. And he's just trying to push, he, do he doesn't want to fight me at all. Level 2 Meteor. I just want to clear this out the way. Vigar's really not the best at lasting under tower. Uh oh. Missed the big one. That's not good. Here's Zix. Just... Drop stun. Oh, he walked back. He saw it coming. And you just want to keep applying pressure. Start with stun. Drop Meteor. I see Lee Sin. He wants to gank. 
He's waiting for my stun. Oh, Lee Sin found him. He's in safeguard. And even though there's uh, another champion here, you always you want to deal out as much harass as possible. You never want to let them do free damage. Like if they hurt your jungle, you want to hurt theirs. Equivalent it out. Ziggs is trying to harass me. He's full HP. He feels pretty confident. Since Zal's coming to gank, I want to stay on my left side next to Hecarim for protection. Let's see if anything's gonna happen. I don't know if anything's gonna happen. I suck at miss landing my stun. If you miss, it's no problem. It's a pretty decent sized cooldown. You can try again in a bit. And like I said, you don't want to have that on smart cast because you can't see the range. Problems landing the stun are because Ziggs is so far away because he doesn't want to get stunned. So continue to coup farm while he's gone. He's, I see he's top lane and I don't want to be a scumbag. I want to go up and help him as fast as possible. I see Hecarim. Oh no, Lisa's going to die unless he does safeguard and he's died. He's going to walk around get that free kill. Hecarim Oh, Hecarim got him. Okay, never mind. Do, 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 do. Team's doing really well. Uh, hopefully, I want to get into some late game. I just want to show what Vigar can do. As you saw, Primordial Burst. Just want to keep him away. If he comes back, I'll flash Q him. The reason I didn't flash Q is because I didn't want to waste my flash in case he didn't die. I would have ignited him which would have killed him for sure except he would have jumped on me. This is a pretty boring game for me right now in middle. Cause my team's getting kills which means my Draven's extremely strong, my top lane's strong. This game looks like a win, I just want to build some items so I can fight 6. Items you want to build first? Um, I like I like DFG, I believe it's his core item. Many, many Vigar players will agree. DFG does is 15% of the target's maximum health and damage, and then all of my other skills do 20% more damage. 20% may not sound like a lot, but like I said before, Vigar is a burst middle. All of his skills do an extreme amount of damage, even though I'm level 9. My Q skill does 300 and. 348, Meteor does 300, Ulti does about 400 at base stats. Uh, leveling up Meteor, now it does 100 more damage, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kill this guy in 30 seconds. Just gonna see how much damage I do, drop Meteor, and that's half his HP without my ulti. Ult, my ulti right now, like I said, 430 damage plus 80% of the target's ability power. Ziggs, he had about 500-600 HP and he has a good amount of ability power now with the Seeker's Arm Guard. Right now he knows he has to go back because he's in danger of dying. <coughs> I see Zin Zhao in our jungle so I'm just going to ward. If he comes back in again I'll just kill him. I really want my level 2 ultimate at level 11, it's just, it's it's like an orgasm about to happen. Ziggs, overextended, wait, can I catch him first? Flash, oh no. I see Zin Zhao coming up for me. I asked my team to help, but it looks like he's just going to back off. And now I'm just going to go back to buy. What is he doing? This man is too brave! Too brave! Small amount of harass, took about over half his HP. Getting Fiendish Codex because it gives me cooldowns and builds DFG. All I want right now is my DFG. No matter who it is on their team, they will die. Cho'Gath who's building wrong, 0-6 will die. Um, Ziggs already can't stand my burst, so he'll die. 
Zinzal's paper, and I'll be able to 1v1 anybody, so no problem. I feel like this game won't really demonstrate much of what I'm trying to. I want to show you guys because it's 27 at 15 minutes in. Not really a great game for demonstrating. Just basic stuff, toss skills, harass. But my team knows Ziggs is probably gonna go middle. I in top lane. He's not going to. Just continue, continue farming, continue harassing, continue everything. Although, every time your ultimate's up, you want to go for a kill. Even without it being up, you still want to go for kills. Because your burst is too much. Fire Ziggs won't even stay in lane to fight me anymore. And I'm only... I'm not really that fed. He actually has more farm than I do. Because so I've been simply trying to harass him. A little harass like that, do half his HP. He knows he can't stand it again, so he's probably just going to go back to base. And especially now that I have my ulti up, it's just, he's gonna, he knows he's scared. This is the power of Vigar. Oh, oh, I've got my enough money for my DFG. This will be perfect to show you before they, I assume they're gonna surrender. So, I wanna show you this as fast as possible. After DFG, I consider buying my boots since I have my core item. Since Boots 2 is not really necessary, unless I was going for more movement speed to run away if I was in trouble or something like that. I want to increase my ability power by going for Death Cap next. On other AP videos, you saw me get Azonias. I don't feel like it's really necessary as an early item. I, I'm not like flashing into an entire team or anything, I'm just doing what I want. Zoning him away. Nothing he can do to me anymore. I will kill him in an instant. Now, Q, Q farm, Q harass, Q nonsense. Right now, it's given me an extra 69 ability power for free. Other champions don't have that. That's why I've got 225 AP versus Sig's 120. That is a Zvigar burst. Right there, DFG, ulti, Q, Meteor. Tw on a, let's, let's right now see how much damage I did to that Ziggs. I'm not going to level up my skill right now. I want to save it so as a reference point. Let's bring up the calculator. It's not really traditional to do in a guide video, but you know what? This is my video. Do what I want. Let's take a look. Q, 260 plus 138. An ally has been slain. Next, Primordial, the Dark Matter. 500, 500 damage easy. Plus 500. My ulti, which was... Let's see, 375, 276, so... I'm looking at 1549 damage easy. Now, Deathfire Grass, 20% damage increase, multiplied by 1.2. I did a burst of 1,858 to that Ziggs, whose HP probably doesn't even get close. Ziggs max HP, 1,300. Which means I could have killed him probably one time over. Primal this is insane. 1,900 burst on level 12, only item being a DFG. So, yeah, this is this is Vigar in a nutshell. I didn't calculate Ziggs' AP into that either, which would have probably done an extra 20% damage. I mean, not 20%, I'm sorry, it would have done an extra 80 damage. Zen Zhao, their jungle, max HP 1492. Again, my burst does 400 more damage than his max HP. If I see him, like, he won't have enough to tank. Let's crank right now. Not enough HP to tank. He wants to make a play on me, but he dies. Uh, people can't approach you because you're stunned. And when they get stunned, it's just I have free time. They're now, as you, you want to level up your stun, 
Uh, some people level up second because it increases stun duration, which is key. Um, some players feel like beginning starting Vigar, they feel like they can't land their Meteor on a level 1 stun because it's too short. Uh, you just need a tad bit of practice. It's not that hard. Just, yeah, just stun Meteor, stun Meteor, really fast. I see Zin's out there. They're gonna get zoned because they feel like I can't kill them even though I don't have anything other than those two. Even still, half their HP. That is a that is a fed Draven, they're not just scared of me. If he crits them, especially with this Q, they'll die. Um, ulti's almost up, I want to go for another kill. All I want to do is go for kills, kills and kills. 5, 4, 3, 2, ulti up, time to go for a kill. Oh god. I miss Meteor. It's okay. My ulti doesn't do as much damage because she's not AP, so it only does the flat base. No need for me to flash that. I don't think that would have killed me. And now that I know that they can survive some of my burst, I simply go back to base and get some more. Help my team first. Oh, be dead, kid! Boom! My Meteor took half of... Remember Meteor is an AoE skill, it also hit... I'm dead. It also hit Blitzcrank, which also took half of his HP as well. So, now that I've gone back, buy more damage. Wanna go for that Death Cap? Massive spike, especially with the 120... Not only for the 120 ability power, but the 30% ability power increase. Key strong not only boost my items AP it boosts my passives AP which is at 98 right now 30% which means I get an extra 30 ability prayer from just that alone so my passive would be giving me 130 AP that's kind of broken like that scales incredibly hard with all my other skills I still don't feel like I need boots too it's a 750 gold buy for Sork boots and the reason I don't feel like I need them is because usually I have my stun for protection. I guess that Zin Zhao I didn't have it and I didn't have my flash. I should have dropped a meteor before I died. Ideal thing to do. But I have movement speed quintessences which gives me the speed I need so I don't need to waste that gold. I can catch people, I can usually run away from people. Overall what you need. Keep farming. I know Ziggs is at his blue buff, so I plan to kill him and get that blue from him. As he wait, he doesn't have a blue buff. It's weird. Although he has a Zonias to protect me from his burst, so I wanna. When you see someone with the Zonias or something, <coughs> you wanna cast your skills in a slightly different skill order. The reason being is because usually I like to cast my ulti last just how I press the buttons. But now I want to cast it first. Oh god. I got pulled. No good, no good. Go back to base. I should have backed off. Wasn't paying attention. I got greedy. Pink about and we can two man. Okay. Draven wants to two man with somebody. But Hecarim, he can do it. Hecarim has a lot of armor protection. Oh god, Draven has Infinity, Bloodthirster, and Phantom Dancer. Yeah, they can do that. No problem. Let's see what's happening here. Team trying to do a really awkward... Ziggs is dead. Zonia's to his death. The really sad feeling of when you know you're going to die, they just... What will they use to kill you? I got my Rabadon's death cap. Boosted my ability power by, let's say, about 130 from where it was before. And what to do, what to do. Items from here, you want to get your Sork Boots. Movement speed's good at this point in the game. You want to make sure your skills do maximum damage, so you always want to get your Void Staff. 40% Magic Pen, so Magic Resist won't really be a problem. That guy's going to run away.
Uh, don't be afraid to waste your ulti. You shouldn't save your ulti for an AP mid. It's even though it does more damage, you want to just get the you want to help your team get ki kills in either way. A kill is a kill, no matter if it's their AP or their AD. My other skills do plenty of damage. It's no problem. Sure, I can kill. There's like I could kill him right now because he thinks he's being confident with his team behind him. But it's an a but right now I'll demonstrate. AOE t AOE stun. His team's not gonna do anything. I am really scared. I wonder if he'll die to my ignite. I don't believe so. Oh, survive with 50 HP. That's unfortunate. Nope. Just drop a stun for my protection. I'm not trying to go for a kill. So I'd rather have them wa walk into it so the stun stays longer theoretically. Then, because I don't want to use up my stun time during my cast time, because then the stun theoretically will last long, shorter. It's whatever nonsense. Again, Q farming, ulti up really soon, DFG up. Someone is going to die. I see Blitzcrank trying to scroll by. Be a cool kid. I see Cho'Gath right here. I think he's an easy pick, and he is going to die in about two seconds. Two. Um. At that moment, um, Ziggs. Did a Zonia's on my ultimate, so it didn't do all the damage. Oh God, I got nukes. This team so this this team fight so bad. My Hecarim has to run, but he has nowhere to run. Run, kid! You could have ran for it. You could have ran for it. Aha! The game lasts longer. This is perfect, which means I can do more stuff. By Sork Boots, that happens. Stuff. Dota Wota. Dota Wota. That Wota. That Wota. Okay. Wota. Wota will the ancient. Will of the ancients. Healing. Cho'Gath has it. Team thinks that's why he survived. That's really not. Uh, what to do now? What to do now? If I had a video editor, I'd probably edit out this half of the video. Not because I'm doing bad, it seems really boring for people to watch. But besides the point, I'm almost level 16, level 3 ulti. Uh, most powerful thing I can have. It's my kit. I will make sure that I do not waste my ulti on someone who's just going to zonia it. So when they zone ya, they take no effect, and my ulti pretty much goes on cooldown without doing anything. It's like the biggest letdown in the world. Uh, team fighting. Team fighting without me. Level 3 ulti, yeah. Let's do this! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Dead kid! Get bursted! Don't walk into Vigar. You're not going to survive. Where's Blitzcrank? Oh, there's a Blitzcrank. Oh, he pushed him out of my stun. No way. Oh, we got the kill anyway. Nice. Ziggs probably going to make some aggressive play. Let's see. Ziggs HP. 1743 with the Zonias. I should be careful. I... I do believe I can burst him, but he can dodge it with the Zonias, and then I'll have nothing to protect myself from him. He's gonna try to shoot me with the. Oh, wrong, shoot me with the wrong skill. Oh, there's a the cute. Dodge, farm. And. I can kill him with DFG. I. Oh, my ulti's coming back up too. Perfect. Come on, Ziggs, be a man. You can fight me. You can do it. Please, Sin, you're being too much of a man. Please, Sin. Listen. 
No! No! The team was up, man! I'm just gonna walk away casually. Boom! Farm! My Draven's a beast. Oh my god. Oh, Zonyas. Yes, you did not realize he had a Zonyas. Okay, good. Team wants to group. I'm gonna go back and buy. Let's see what I want. Never sell your wards. I'm doing it because I can. And no one's warding. Not their team, my team. And we should be easy. Buy Blue Pot. And now I got 664 AP with nothing but DFG, Rabadons, my items, and Q Farm, which would now be at 126. Oh, sh snap, crackle, and pop. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, I need something to protect myself from something like that. My team should win this. Yup, Draven's fat, even though I'm not. Pretty dead weight in this game. I keep getting caught by Blitzcrank. Quadra kill. Can you go for the Penta? Nope, that Blitz scumbag running far, far away. No Penta kill. The Philosopher's Stone at the beginning of the games got me 785 gold, 788. So it's paid for itself. I didn't waste any gold on it. Uh, it gave me early game stats. Um, I can sell it at any time for an extra 280 gold. So it's just a money maker. My team's fed. They're carrying me. Draven's 19-6. I miss all my stuns. It makes me really sad. Oh, do 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 I'm really not the best at doing Baron. All my skills have high cooldown. I'm just gonna walk over here and see what I can make happen. See, nothing has happened. They killed Cho'Gath. That's good. Pop goes the whiz. Free kill, no problem. Draven died, he got kicked off. Meteor, my Dark Matter does 320 plus 727, 1000 damage. My Q does 700 damage. My ulti does 1400 damage plus whatever AP they have. I'm really paper, but it's no problem, it's not a big deal. Do, 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 do a little chicken dance. With Zix. Somehow shot by the tower on the outside. Oh, jeez. I want to boost someone so bad. Why won't anyone come near? Aww, sad face. Let's see who's up. Their entire team's off. I want to be careful. Get away from me! Oh wow, he survived. With, oh my god, 100 HP. That's unfortunate. I don't have my ulti, I'm gonna... Oh, Bleason's dead, never mind. Never mind, couldn't kill him. So sad. I didn't, I don't think I meteored him, all I did was my Q and my ulti. Thought it'd be enough, I was wrong. I'm not even gonna try, I can't kill that truck out. Items I'm getting now. I have my core items. Core items being DFG, Ravadon's Death Cap, 
complement that with the Void Staff, 70 ability power, and ignores 35% of the target's magic resist. So all your skills generally do ignore with some of their resistances and do more damage, it's whatever. Um, Cho, if I had that ignore resistance on Blitzcrank, he would have died, no problem. You see he's here. And he died. I pressed my C button by accident, covered it up, but he died from my burst. So he can't tank it anymore, it's impossible. Minions are gone. They're scared. Who can I kill today? Who can I pick today? They saw me with that ward. I want to walk away. Team wants to go say hey. Team's pushing bottom. I'm pushing middle. This is what I'm going to do today. Team's going in. That guy just missed. That guy straight up missed his ulti. Oh, missed my stun. <coughs> Holy hell! That ulti did half my HP. Wait for stun? Boom! Meteor on two people! Boom! Q! Boom! Everyone's dead! Swain MVP. I guess Swain's the MVP of this game. Oh, that's the best support Swain I've ever seen. Oh, he even tanked them all. What a beast. Nearing 700 AP, but this will be the end of the game right here. Um, I didn't really do the best in this video. I probably did. I didn't. I wouldn't say I got carried, but I did average. I have. Dude, dude, I want to buy before this is over. I want to buy. I want to buy something. I bought it something. It's random, but I bought it. Boom! I have 844 AP. Game's over. So yeah, like I was saying before, um, Vigar's high burst kills everybody, kills anybody, AoE stun, Q farm, remember to use your early Q to harass rather than farm your minions, deal out pressure, buy wards, place wards, I didn't really place many wards in this game, I was being very lazy, I also knew there's Zen Zhao, really didn't gank middle a lot, he actually didn't gank middle at all, so I... Felt like I wanted to lack some wards. Except in a ranked game or something, always have wards. No excuse for not having them. This is a normal game, it's slightly less serious. The, um, that's pretty much it. Again, this game goes out to Darth Killer. I realize this probably wasn't the best of videos so far on my channel. But I'll try to release more later on. And that right there is Vigar. If you liked the video, if you watched all the way through, thank you. Um, I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you want me to play a certain champion, feel free to leave a message or add me in game and send me a message, leave comments, subscribe, whatever. I'll be here, and thank you for watching, and that's pretty much all for now.